Good morning. It's Kathleen from Relatively Refined. If you are new to our channel, we are three sisters who are always on the lookout for ways to make our homes beautiful on a budget. And if you are new, we also invite you to subscribe. Um, we have we try to put out two videos a week showing you ways in which we make our homes beautiful on a budget. Sometimes it's through thrift halls. Other times it's um, creating a beautiful tablescape with what we already have. Um, we have a couple of fun ones coming up. Um, at the end of each month, we always do a, a, a monthly find of the month. So our August find of the month is coming up and you won't want to miss that. It's a good one. Um, so hit that subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you, you'll be sure to not miss out on that. If you are, are already a subscriber, thank you. We appreciate you um, helping us out with our channel and hope that you find some inspiration um, in what we bring to you each week. So I come to you today from a beautiful... Um, Sunday morning in late August as I get ready to go back to school. I work in the public school systems. So I thought I would share with you my most recent haul, um, which is probably over the past week, I would say week or two, I tried to sort of cram in any last minute thrifting I could possibly do, knowing that once I go back uh, to school, um, I usually don't get home until all the, the shops are closed. So I wanted to kind of get in there as much as I can. So I want to share with you that haul today. So the first item that I'm going to share with you is a beautiful bowl. It kind of looks like a, it's, it's like clear glass and it has an urn shape, which I really like because I have a lot of garden urns outside and there's something about the shape of those urns that I really, really love. It's not huge. It's maybe eight inches tall, um, you know, eight inches across. Um, and actually, I it caught my eye, and then I looked it up, and I found that they sell it on Home De in Home Depot, actually, but for like sixty dollars, and this was you know four dollars. So I use it. I put some fresh peaches. I bought fresh peaches at the farmers market, and it looks really beautiful. And what I will do is sprinkle in some photos of how I've used these pieces um, throughout my home in this video, so you can see them uh, what I'm actually doing with them. So I have been on the lookout for some rectangle placemats. Um, and the funny thing is I actually went ahead and I found some on sale at uh, Target and I ordered them. And that same day I went to our local thrift shop and of course I found some. So now I have to, I haven't even received the order yet. So I'll either um, return, I'll probably end up returning the ones that I got at Target. So the ones that I got at our local thrift shop are round. The ones I did order were rectangular, so I'll decide which ones I, I prefer once they come in the mail. But these are the ones that I got at our local thrift shop. They're, rat, they're rattan, brown rattan, and they're round. They have a little bit of a, a, a base to them. Um, and there were, there were actually 10 of them. I only took eight. I only needed eight, and I, feel a little bit, I felt a little bit bad about that. But there was another person in the store, and I noticed she had the other two, so I felt better about that afterwards. Um, so these are, these are actually really nice. Um, and there was, like I said, a set of eight, I bought eight of them. They were marked $2 each. So she gave me the eight for 15. I don't know why she knocked the dollar off, but anyway, I will show you, uh, cause that'll insert a picture of, um, how it looks at the table, but I will decide once the other ones come, if I keep these, the round ones, or if I keep the rectangle ones. Um, but it was just pure coincidence and that sometimes that happens. You, you really, I want something, I know I need something, I go and I, I find it at the thrift shop that day or the next day. Um, and in this case, I was impatient and I went ahead and ordered. Um, I shouldn't have because there, lo and behold, at the thrift shop were the, some rattan placemats that I've, or these are, these are not really placemats. These are more like chargers. So who knows? I may end up keeping both because these are really more like chargers, but they can be used kind of as a placemat as well. So I got those. Um, at that same local store, I got a set of eight. Um, the, they're like little, I don't know if they're dessert. I I'm going to use them as appetizer plates. Little, there they are there. So they're vintage. They, they're called Independence Ironstone, made in Japan by Castleton, China. 
Um, I loved the pattern. I thought they were perfect for fall with the golds and the rust colored little birds or chickens or whatever they are. Um, and I love the shape of them. They're not round. They're sort of, what are they, octagonal? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And there, were a, there was a set of eight for $3. So I did end up getting those. Um, and I will use them. I often do like a little charcuterie board um, throughout the, in, in the summer or in the fall. And instead of using paper products or larger plates, um, I will use these so people can put their little, their nibbles um, on those little plates. So that, I was happy about that. And for $3. I also have been on the lookout. My mom actually was on the lookout for some napkin rings. And I found this set of four. They're ceramic, kind of a light yellow. I liked them. They almost had like a, a honeycomb or a beehive sort of look to them. There were only four of those. I bought the four of those. I think they were a quarter each. Um, and then I will slip in the picture. You'll see um, my mom's last name starts with a B. And she's been on the lookout like crazy for napkin rings. And I found that this set of, I believe it was six, um, unopened, unused, never used. They were still in plastic. Uh, silver napkin rings, probably silver plated, obviously, for, for a quarter, um, with the B on them. So I have already given her those, so I don't have them to show you, but I do. I will show you in the picture what they look like. So I got all of those napkin rings, I think for like $2.50, which was, which was great. Um, let's see. I did pick up, I went to the, our local Goodwill. Um, and I found this, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with it. I think I'm going to keep it in my office or at school, this little tin box and it has like a letter in it and it's actually from the Girl Scouts. I don't know what they did with it way back when. This is clearly vintage and it says mail, Juliet Gordon Lowe birthplace, Savannah, Georgia. Um, and yeah, I'm, I really, it has something to do with the Girl Scouts and kind of gives a little blip about the Girl Scouts on the back. I just thought it was kind of cool. And I thought, oh, maybe I'll keep outgoing mail or bills or incoming bills or something in there. Um, you know, I paid, let's see, it was a yellow, so it was half price, so it was $2. So, you know, if I don't find a great use for it, I'm not out a lot of money. I did look it up. And on eBay, you know, it goes from anywhere from $12 to $15. Not that I'm going to sell it on eBay, but it, it clearly has some value to it. Probably particularly if you were a Girl Scout. I was, I was not. Um, but the other thing is I teach reading and writing, and it might be kind of fun to, for the kids to have a little box to put in their little notes that they write. So that was kind of a fun find for a couple of dollars. Uh, let's see, at that Goodwill, I found a couple of things that I will use in my home, and you'll see, because they have stuff in them. This giant ball jar, I keep my rice in it, because I buy rice in a bag, kind of a bulk bag. Um, so this is a really nice ball jar, has that good sealing top on it, you know, that keeps it nice and fresh, and it's huge. So that I got um, to use, it's in my pantry, I keep the rice in it. And like that... I have a lot of room here. I also got this jar with another one of those sealing, you know, tops that kind of really seal. And I keep our coffee pods in it for the, the espresso maker. So those were probably a dollar, maybe a dollar fifty each um, and very functional. Those are the kinds of things if you watch my previous um, uh, video, I talked about the different buckets that when I go thrifting, I I put things in different buckets. Those would go in the first bucket. You know, I really need them. I needed somewhere to keep the coffee pods. I, I liked, I didn't like the rice in a bag because I had to tape it and sometimes it's spilled. This way it's much better. Um, you know, those are things that are just cheaper to find. Um, you can definitely find really good containers like that um, at the Goodwill or your thrift shop. Wash them out and they're good to go. Uh, the next item that I found, there are actually two, I'm going to share with you just one. It's this pillow. It's kind of a, it's a cute little zigzag pillow with the pom-pom fringe blues. And there was a pair 
and they it was six dollars for the pair and pillows are expensive so i thought that was a really good deal and this is nice it's thick the, the insert is nice and puffy it's not kind of flattened sometimes from wear um and i decided you'll see in the picture to put those um on my little side porch where you enter into the house i had some old um pillows that my mom they were probably from my mom's house many years ago and they've been sitting out there now for five years i take them you know down in the winter time but i thought you know what i'm going to just refresh it a little bit give it a little bit more color so um they happen to match the the cushions where you sit um, so these are just the back pillows um, that I'm going to use out there on the side porch until it's time to put those away for winter. And for $6, I got those at our local, we have a Habitat resale store. Um, and so that's where I got those, which is also where I got, let's see if I can hold this up, this picture. I, I bought it. So it's a black and white. I actually love black and white photography. It kind of has a, a little bit of a, reflection in it but it's a professionally done frame you know so i actually bought it for the frame i think it was six dollars um i have and i'll share with you a watercolor picture that i picked up at an estate sale um that wasn't framed and i thought oh maybe it'll fit it doesn't really fit i may try to make it fit i can cut it i can cut it down a little bit um, take this frame apart and put it in and see if, if I like the way it looks. Otherwise, I do have throughout my home some black and white photos. This is a beachy scene. It says on the back, uh, Bermuda, um, printed in 1999. Um, so it was kind of fun, but I really bought it for the frame. I like those simple black metal frames with a nice uh, mat, a nice clean mat. And the picture that I wanted to put in there um is is this watercolor like i said i picked it up at an estate sale um the person was a you know an amateur artist but the scene is actually a a local scene we have a quarry a marble quarry where i live where people go swimming and that's what this is and i thought that's what drew my eye to it i think it was like a couple bucks um but i'm wondering if i can kind of cut it down a little bit and sneak it into that frame because I would like to hang it. I actually really like it. I may gift it. I may give it to one of my kids who, you know, they know the quarry. They've, they've been swimming in the quarry. Um, so I thought that was kind of cool. Uh, like I said, it's not a famous, it's a, it's a very amateur artist, the person's home where the estate sale was, but um, I like it. I like the simplicity of it. I love watercolor. And like I said, it happens to be a, Kind of a local landmark um and a, and a draw for people who come to come here is this local um marble quarry where you can swim um i have two more items i be uh, believe to share with you um these i'm not really sure again if i go back to my buckets these are probably in that third um but well this one is definitely in the third bucket it's I saw it, I knew it was, it, ha it was beautiful. And I knew it was probably something maybe of some value, you know, how much, I don't know. I looked it up, it's anywhere from 35 to $50. But it is called a lotus bowl. And it has, it's a chip and dip lotus bowl. Um, and it's a beautiful white. I mean, and there's not a chip or a mark on it. Um, and it, it is marked on the back, Whittier Pottery of um california usa number four five three um and it was just so pretty and just so clean and cool looking and kind of mid-century with that you know the little flare and then the little bowl that comes off and fits right in the middle so i actually have used it i've used the bowl um i haven't used the whole set yet um i'm just not sure it, it's it takes up a lot of space to um to store it so right now i have it sitting out you'll see in the picture i have it sitting out in um on a, on a side table type thing just because it's so pretty um so i'm just not sure what i'm going to do with that yet uh I, but it was just too nice to leave there and i knew it probably had some history and, and possibly even some value and the last item i'm going to share with you are two i'm going to show you one it was a pair at that same estate sale that I got the um, the watercolor. 
and it's a kind of a <laughs> a candelabra -y type thing. You can see it holds um, five little tiny tea lights in here. It's very rustic metal deer. Um, you know, has the base on it, and it's kind of hand hammered type look. Very cool. I thought it was very sort of um, Scandinavian. It, you could have. I have it out all year. I, I keep one of them out all year. I may try to use these in an upcoming um, holiday, more Christmas time tablescape. I think they would be really cool um, to see that. Uh, but again, they're just they're clearly sort of that um, folk art. It's got a little eye you can see right there. You know, nothing wrong with them. And there was a pair for ten dollars. So I thought those are those are very very cool. I don't see any markings or anything on them i just liked the look of them and and the style it had sort of a huga style to, with it to me sort of that just that metal very clean um hammered metal very simple and um and basic uh, so i have one of those out i keep it out all year round i haven't um set the table with using both of them as sort of centerpiece i haven't even actually put the candles in them to see how that looks with the flames coming out of the antlers but i'm going to give that a try because i think they're very very cool so so that is my late summer you know preschool thrift haul that i wanted to share with you it was fun it was sort of like i was on the lookout for certain things and i actually found them and other things were were surprises that um, I was like, ooh, that, that's kind of a fun one. I'm, I'm going to keep that and find either find a place for it, find a use for it. Um, but it was just too good to leave behind. So thank you for sticking to the end of this. I know it was a longer video, um, but I really wanted to share with you uh, some of the great things I find. You, you just, you never know. And like I said, with the, the placemats, I literally clicked you know, buy from Target, left the house, went to the thrift store, and there those were. And again, they're not really placemats. They are more chargers, but they certainly could could work as placemats. Um, they would have sufficed for me. Um, so I have to make that decision when those ones from Target arrive in the mail. But thank you again uh, for watching. Uh, if you are new and you like this and you want to see more like that, please hit subscribe. Um, we appreciate it. We're aiming for 500 um, subscribers before the end of the summer, which is which is getting, we're getting close to that, um, both in time and in subscribers. So thanks again. We'll see you next time and appreciate your watching. Bye.